Hello, are you interested to learn how to do early ice beam sequence break? Early ice beam's unauthor name is called Ice Beam Before Flagra, named by the community. This is a very advanced strat, because out of bounds behaves differently in Metroid Prime Remastered. In the original Metroid Prime game and in its sequels, the out of bounds has ether. Ether is surrounding the whole room and it goes beyond out of bounds. You can stand on it, move around, jump out of it, and so on. However, in Metro Prime Remastered, once you go out of bounds, there is no ether to stand on, so you'll die instantly after falling for a few seconds. If you are not going to plan speedrun in this game, this can be a really fun challenge for anyone to try to get Ice Beam early. Now, let's get started! So to start off, uh, you need to go out of bounds that is done from that hole over there. You need to first land on that back branch, then to the corner over there, and you'll have to slope jump up through that hole. So walk slightly backwards, and if you land on this little ledge like here, you have to jump to the corner again to make sure you don't fall off. Slightly move backwards, then do a slope jump against it and get out of bounds. Some of the common mistakes are not holding right direction in time. Or you happen to slide off after landing. Follow the path and jumps I'm doing in this tutorial and you might have a much better chance to make it through. So you land around here possibly, you want to jump around the corners like this and make it all the way up here. Now you must transition to the next room and you have to get on top of the door frame like this. What you need to do is to jump hold the back left, which in this case is down left, then jump again a bit later to get on top of the ceiling. Now it's fair to mention, in out of, out of bounds for Metro Prime Remastered are changed that you can actually stand on almost everything. Well, what I was gonna say is that you can easily fall back in bounds. So be careful where you stand on and move on. So continue on this spot, anything that looks like a solid ground, you should stand on that. Now we need to transition to the next room by jumping on top of the door frame again. And an important note here to say is that look at the top right corner sometimes. The top right corner has the map shown. And when you open the map, it highlights the room that you are in. If it highlighted the room that I'm, I was previously in, then you are in a wrong room and you need to go back and transition to, the, to this room. So let me demonstrate this. I'm gonna load the next room. Now it thinks that I'm in this room. But if I transition back to the, this room, then I continue this out of bounds over here. You can't, you can't access this door because the game thinks you are in this room, which is correct. You are in that room. So let's continue. The part that I have been taking is uh, jump around on this spot, then continue on this spot around here. These are standable. It's really good. Then jump over here. Now just fall off from this carefully on the top of the door frame, then jump again, and you transition to the next room. For this section, I like to use these pipes to stand on. Usually I like to look at this kind of direction, so I have a little bit of a control in a view, for, so I see where I'm landing and where I'm going. The plan is to jump on that door frame over there. Doesn't matter exactly how you do it, as long as you just land on the door frame. And uh, like, like I've been mentioning before, now jump and you transition to the next room. These are good spots to land on what I'm shooting at. The next room is actually loaded, which you can test by shooting at it. I prefer to jump right into it by holding forward. Eventually you'll run, land on a door frame. Now simply jump up to load the next room. This room will be the hardest part of this sequence break. Now in this next part, do a double jump then tap forward. 
if it doesn't work, then try again. The game will force you back really easily, so keep trying. Land on this rock that is right up, that I'm right on right now, and you're good to go to the next part. Jump on this part over here. Try to be in the middle. Don't go to the side. You can't go too much to the side, or you'll you'll fall off. Or to the right side. From here, you want to go and stand on that part. And this becomes really hard after this. This is one of the most difficult jumps now. You need to stand like somewhere there. It's hard to say where exactly. But keep looking at the input display and see how I'm doing this. What I'm doing is I have this kind of an angle. Then I will jump to the left and start holding upright or tap upright to land on a small ledge. Like that. Then I jump to this way. This next part will be really tricky. You need to like land somewhere there. It's hard to say exactly where because we're burning out of bounds. So we can't see exactly where to land on. But that's the spot where you need to land on. It's like this small rock that you can see in out of bounds. This was one of the hardest jumps because you're doing it half blind. Next part where you need to stand on is right around there. You see those rocks? I'll be jumping on that spot. And hug against the wall slightly, but not too much to not fall back in bounds. Next part will be standing right around there. You can hold against the wall and you'll land on that spot. Now we do the usual thing and we jump on top of the door frame to transition to the next room. Here, like I said before, in the same kind of a hallway, use these kind of a corners to jump on. You cannot transition to the next room by being on top of the door frame. You need to be on the side of it. I would recommend to jump from a this spot to the side of the door. The spot where you will land on will be very small. Be careful. Walking slowly towards the door will make you transition to the next and the final room. Yo, did he just walk up slowly? When you have made it to this room, you want to turn around and jump on this spot where this big rock is. Now jump on this metal peg that is really hard to see. And from here, jump around to this corner. Then jump carefully to the side of this where the where are those bomb slots. Now Jump on this, uh, jump off this whole room ceiling over here, then jump over here, and you're at the end of the fall crawl. Then you just walk around here, and you'll eventually fall back in bounds. Like that. To do this uh, slope jump, get up on this, uh, on this enemy's uh, back around on that spot where I was shooting at. Move left, then jump to gain extra height. And that is how you do early ice beam sequence break. 